could be taken away by social services as soon as it's born. That's the situation facing a pregnant Northumberland woman. Tomorrow, she appeals against that decision. Fran Lyon from Hexham has a personality disorder which was diagnosed when she was a teenager. Although it's been treated successfully, officials claim she's likely to suffer from a condition which could be a danger to her baby. Karen Thomas reports. Like any mother-to-be, Fran Lyon is looking forward to the birth of her first baby. She was diagnosed with a personality disorder at the age of 15 and knows she may never be able to bring up her child without the intervention of social services. She hoped at the very least she'd be able to bond with the daughter she's already called Molly in a special mother and baby unit. But Northumberland's safeguarding board told her that the child could be taken away and put into foster care within hours of the birth. I'm not saying let me go home with Molly and you'll never see us again. Uh, I'm saying let's go somewhere that I can be monitored 24 hours a day and put everybody's mind at rest that Molly's safe. Fran believes the decision rests with a paediatrician whom she's never met, claiming she could have a condition called Munchausen syndrome by proxy, where a parent harms a child to call attention to him or herself. Have you ever no. been diagnosed with it? No. How did that make you feel? It's as if everybody's already decided that that I've, you know, done this horrific thing when evidently there's no possibility that I could have done because Molly's not here yet. You feel very isolated and ostracised, um, and it's it's difficult to know that that people are looking at you and thinking, "Are you going to hurt your baby?" In a statement, Northumberland County Council said they weren't able to comment on individual cases. But they said safeguarding children is our top priority. The safeguarding board consults appropriate parties so that it can make fully informed recommendations to children's services. It is the court which decides after legal representation from all parties whether a child needs to be removed from the care of their mother. The council meets tomorrow for an internal appeal hearing on her case. Fran's in no doubt that their decision will have the most influence on any court in the land. Karen Thomas, ITV Tyne Tees, Hexham. Well, the Justice for Families group campaigns for reforms to family law and they are supporting Fran Lyon's case. The group is chaired by the MP John Hemming and he joins us now from the ITV newsroom in Birmingham. Mr Hemming, good evening to you. Uh, why have you decided to uh, support Ms Lyon's case? Well, this is one of actually a number of cases where there clearly is insufficient reason to remove a baby just after it's born. There isn't the evidence in place. It's completely wrong. But whatever the mother's circumstances, shouldn't the main concern be for the welfare of the baby? Well, the welfare of the baby does involve the baby being breastfed as well. And fair enough, if there are proper evidence concerns for the welfare of the baby, then something should be done. If and, and the, the point is this, it's just absurd for them to propose to do what they're doing. It's completely absurd. But aren't there, aren't there concerns over the welfare of the baby, the safety of the baby? Yeah, but they don't stand up. This is the problem with all the secrecy in the family courts. A lot of the arguments used for doing what is done don't stand up. They would never stand up to proper public scrutiny. How unusual would you say Fran Lines' case is then? I think what, what's unusual is that it's come public at this stage before she's being gagged. Sadly, there are far too many cases like this. In, in the North East, um, there are quite a few Munchausen syndrome by proxy cases, something which has been accepted to be invalid in much of the rest of the world. And, and briefly, what hope do you think that uh, Ms Lyons has of getting a fair hearing? It's very, very difficult to get a fair hearing in public family law, but she has got a very good solicitor. A number of the solicitors you can't rely on at all and they undermine your own case. But in this instance, she's got a good solicitor. Um, that will help. Do you think she'll win? She should win. Whether she will win is another matter. John Hemming, many thanks for joining us. Well, the North East poor record on animal cruelty got even worse.